back to our YouTube channel Learning Pocket. So in the previous video, what we have seen, we have fetched the data from the uh, database and we have displayed it on all jobs .js, all jobs pages. And we have also done uh, the post request. That is, uh, we have added the data from front end to the MongoDB, right? That is, we have used APIs uh, calls from the back end that we have created in the second third video, and we have used it in the front end and uh, we have added the data to the database and fetched the data from the database, right? So in this video, we will going to see how we can edit the uh, edit the data edit the post in the database and how we can delete the post in the database, right? So let me quickly go to the code part and I have started my server of the backend that is database is connected successfully and server is running on port 5000 and let's go to the front end part and uh, this is my front end part and I have started my server and it's giving me some error. Uh, module cannot module not found in okay let me uh, fix it how i it is showing this in all jobs dot js right and uh, okay so i don't know how my material ui core package got deleted from this package dot json so i just reinstall this package and now it is running perfectly fine i have the data from the database now i'll work on this edit button right so i will be editing these these post by using the id of these uh, particular post right so let's uh, i will go to the uh, i'll go to not add job i'll go to the first uh, all jobs dot js and uh, i'll um, i'll just link uh, the button i'll link this button uh, let me okay so i'll have to add link in this button uh, where i have used this edit uh, edit one right right in the edit one i have to use link so i'll have to first import link from the uh, react router dom right so let's import it so import link from react router dom that's it and i'll have to wrap this button in the link and link uh, sorry i'll have to wrap this in link link 2 is equals to i'm using a uh, curly braces and then template string and then forward slash edit forward slash dollar then uh, brackets then i i will write item dot underscore id that's it so i'll have to close this here also and i'll copy this link after the uh, and uh, i'll use it in after the button right so control v control s that's it okay it is giving me error because i have not deleted slash link from here and uh, yes that's it and now i'll create one more component as edit job dot js edit uh edit job dot js and i'll uh, copy paste uh, from add jobs dot js control a control c and paste it in edit job dot js and i'll name it as uh edit jobs and here also edit jobs that's it and i'll import in app.js and give it a route right so i'll pass this and uh, and i'll give it route of slash edit slash sorry edit slash underscore id that's it and component is uh, edit jobs right i have to import this also so let's import it import edit uh, jobs from dot forward slash component slash and uh, add uh, sorry all jobs not edit job right that's it and uh, let's check it out if it is uh, running fine or not so if i click on edit then i'm getting this uh, form right and it is giving me the id also right so now i'll have to display the text here so for displaying the text i'll have to just uh, just write the uh, I'll have to just write the value right for value i'll have to first create my apis for editing and deleting so just create just let's create the apis so export const edit uh, jobs is equals to right and we will need two parameters uh, first is our id and the second is the job that the data that we are going to uh, put it in that we are going to update right and it is async uh, await calls so i'll just write async and then i'll write uh, return uh, return await axios dot put then in uh, axios dot put then in template string i'll write dollar then curly braces then url then slash 
डॉलर अंडर स्कोर आई डी डॉलर इन कर्ली ब्रेस आई डी देन आई है पास जॉब ऑल्सो सो दिस इज इट फॉर द एडिट एडिट जॉब्स ए पी आई एंड लेट्स ऑल्सो क्रिएट द डिलीट ए पी आई सो एक्सपोर्ट कॉन्स्ट डिलीट जॉब इज इक्वल्स टू आई नीड ए आई डी एंड इट विल बी असिंग का वेट कॉल सो लेट मी जस्ट राइट फर्स्ट असिंग एंड देन आई डी आफ्टर दैट I'll have to just write return await await x use dot delete. Then in template string I'll pass uh, in curly braces dollar sorry dollar curly braces then URL slash dollar curly braces ID. That's it. And this will work perfectly fine. And now let's uh, go to the edit job dot js and I'll have to uh, make the state and uh, I'll have to uh, display the data in the form. Uh, right in this form so that we can edit right so let's uh, quickly do this uh, what I have done okay let's first I'll have to fetch the data so that I can show it in that form so I'm just deleting this const uh, add job detail and I'm creating one const uh, get job detail right so const get job detail uh, or we can say let's suppose const load job details and and this will be a synchronous call so a sync and i'll pass id here and uh, this will be uh, let uh, uh, const response is equals to await and i'll just get the data using the uh, api that i've created this one uh, get jobs and i'm passing id so if i have null then i'm getting all data if I, i'll pass id then i'll get the particular uh, data of that matches the id so i will await get jobs then i'll pass it in id right and uh, and i'll get this data to the set job and uh, response dot data that's it and uh, this is it and now i'll create uh, for uh, submitting the data right so const uh, update update job details update job details and this will be a synchronous call again and uh, right and now now for updating the data i'll make again const response is equals to await and i'll just pass that api for editing the uh, jobs the edit jobs and i'll pass uh, job and id right so id and then job then i'll just uh, history dot push then i'll again uh, push it after editing to the uh, all jobs page right so i'll give it as history dot push forward slash all right that's it and uh, now i'll have to pass this load job details in the uh, use effect hook right so for when the component uh, renders it uh, it this function will be called right so i'll be writing use effect right and then sorry use effect then i'll delete this one these returns then i'll call uh, this function load job details that's it and then i'll delete this one also after that i'll have to make uh, I, I have imported history yes i have imported history now i'll have to use this function so that i'll when i click on my add job button then this function will be called up so on click uh, i am changing this to update uh, job details that's it also i have to um, uh, also for providing uh, the data in these fields i have to pass one more thing i'll have to pass value right so in this value is equals to i'll pass it in as a curly braces in uh, title then for description as value is equals to description and for time i have to write value is equals to time that's it let's test this uh, id is not defined where line 43 line 43 id is not defined because i have not passed id here right so i'll have to pass id and job here okay id is not defined because i have to use params so because we are getting the id from request.params.id so const uh, id is equals to uh, use params use params and i have to import it from uh, in here okay it is auto important i'll delete add jobs now so now it is working perfectly fine and let me go to the browser and okay the here is already data written and i'll just delete this and i'll update it uh, add job so it gets reflected and it is let me uh, change let changes mean stack time to be of let's suppose three months 
then i'll write uh, three year and this it, it is working perfectly fine update is perfect working perfectly fine it is now three months now let's work on this delete functionality right so let me just quickly go to the edit uh, all jobs dot js and for this button i'll have to make, uh, write one function only only uh, only i have to write one function only right so i'm adding on click functionality on this button so on click uh on click is equals to uh this function uh this function is let's suppose delete job item delete delete job uh data and i am passing an un item underscore id right so item dot underscore id that's it for this and let's uh, make this function delete job data so const uh, delete uh, job uh, i have copied const delete job data and this will be a synchronous call and then i'll pass id in here because uh, we are we are getting the data from the id and we, are, we will be deleting the data of that particular id right so i'll just simply write return await uh, sorry return await i don't know i don't need returns await i'll just call the api that i've created for deleting await delete uh, job uh, what is the name of the api delete delete job right only delete job so i'll write delete job and i'll pass uh, the id that's it and i'll have to just call the uh, the just call the get all jobs uh, function so that i will uh, so that my job will be job pages will be updated so i'll just uh, call get all jobs and that's it for this now let's uh, test this api so i'll delete this django job so I, I, if i click on delete it is it's get deleted from this and it will also get deleted from the mongo database right so if i delete this it will be deleted here right so this is the main aim of the project uh, uh, of the series that we have uh, what, what we have learned in the series that we have created the data we have added the data using this database uh, using this add add job functionality then we fetch the data we have re read the data from this the, uh, in on this page using the mongo from the mongodb also we edited this data and uh, also we deleted the data so we have learned CRUD operation in this series hope you guys have enjoyed this and if you like this video do hit the like button if you like the series then do hit the like button and if you uh, face any difficulty in this series then just let me uh, let me know in the comment uh, comment uh, below and uh, just share the series with your friends and uh, also if you haven't subscribed to our channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification to be on and you will get the co uh, uh, the source code of this whole uh, series in the description down below and yeah i'll see you in the next series till then bye bye take care